title, Nurturing Young Minds, Understanding Child Psychology for Effective Parenting. Hey, viewers of Mental Health Matters First. In today's video, we embark on an enlightening journey into the realm of child psychology. Understanding how young minds work is paramount for effective parenting and fostering a healthy environment for our children's growth. We'll delve deep into the developmental stages, emotions, cognitive processes, and behaviors that shape our children's world. So, let's begin our exploration of child psychology and discover how we can be better caregivers and guides. Section 1. Foundations of Child Psychology Understanding child psychology involves comprehending how children develop mentally, emotionally, and socially. This foundation helps parents provide appropriate support. For instance, knowing that a toddler's short attention span is normal can prevent unnecessary worry when they quickly shift focus from one activity to another. Section 2. Developmental Stages Children go through various stages like infancy, early childhood, middle childhood, and adolescence. Recognizing these stages helps parents adapt their approach. For instance, a teenager's desire for independence is typical during adolescence, and parents can support this by allowing them to make some decisions while still setting boundaries. Section 3. Cognitive Development Jean Piaget's stages, like the sensory motor stage, birth to two years, where infants learn through sensory experiences, help parents understand their child's thinking. For example, parents can provide colorful and textured toys to stimulate a baby's senses during the sensory motor stage. Section 4. Emotional Intelligence Parents can nurture emotional intelligence by teaching children to recognize and manage their emotions. For instance, if a child is frustrated, parents can encourage them to label the emotion and discuss why they feel that way, helping the child develop emotional awareness. Section 5. Social Development Attachment theory explains the importance of early secure relationships. An example could be a baby developing a secure attachment to their caregiver, which leads to a strong sense of trust and security later in life. Section 6. Language Acquisition Milestones in language development, like babbling around six months, show parents what to expect. Parents can enhance language acquisition by talking and reading to their child regularly, exposing them to a rich vocabulary. Section 7. Behavior and Discipline Positive reinforcement involves praising good behavior. For instance, if a child shares a toy, parents can praise them, reinforcing the behavior and encouraging them to continue sharing. Section 8. Gender Identity and Sexuality Parents can create an open environment for discussions about gender and sexuality. If a child expresses curiosity, parents can answer questions age appropriately, promoting a healthy understanding. Section 9. Nature versus Nurture An example could be a child's height, influenced by genetics, nature, but nutrition and environment, nurture, also play a role. Understanding this balance helps parents appreciate their child's unique traits and potentials. Section 10. Fostering Individuality If a child shows interest in painting, parents can provide art supplies and enroll them in art classes. This supports the child's individuality and encourages skill development. Section 11. Effective Communication If a child is upset about a school issue, parents can actively listen, validate their feelings, and engage in an open conversation. This builds trust and encourages the child to share more. Section 12. Encouraging Autonomy When a child expresses interest in cooking, parents can guide them through a simple recipe. This promotes independence while ensuring safety and guidance. Section 13. Play and Learning Parents can create a play space with puzzles, building blocks, and art materials. This facilitates learning through play, where children develop problem-solving skills and creativity. Section 14. Dealing with Challenges If a child is struggling with a subject in school, parents can work together to develop a study plan. This teaches resilience and problem-solving, preparing the child to tackle challenges constructively. By understanding and applying these principles, parents can foster a nurturing and supportive environment that promotes their child's healthy development in all aspects. In wrapping up this enriching journey, we've uncovered the intricacies of child psychology and how they shape the parenting experience. Understanding our children's developmental stages, emotions, and behaviors equips us to provide the guidance and support they need. By fostering healthy relationships, communication, and autonomy, we can create an environment where our children can flourish mentally, emotionally, and socially. Thank you for joining us in exploring the captivating world of child psychology on Mental Health Matters First. 
If you found this video insightful, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more engaging content. Until next time, prioritize your child's well-being and continue to nurture those young minds.